subscribe to our channel for more unknown facts videos. Ozone layer is a protective layer of gas consisting of O3 molecules called ozone located within the stratosphere. Ozone layer is 15 to 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface and contains most of our ozone. Ozone is also called tree exogen, and it is pale blue in color, with strong smell. Out of each 10 million air molecules, about 2 million are normal oxygen, but only 3 are ozone. Good and bad ozone layer. Good ozone layer. Good ozone is produced naturally in photochemical reactions in the stratosphere. Bad ozone layer. Ozone near the Earth's surface is an air pollutant that is harmful to breathe and it damages crops, trees, and other vegetation. Ozone layer helps to regulate the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere to save us from overheating or freezing. Ozone layer absorbs 97 to 99 percent of the sun's ultraviolet light, which protects all life forms from its potentially damaging effects. Ozone layer, thickness is measured in, Dobson units. Total Ozone Mapping Spectrometer, is a satellite instrument, for measuring ozone values. Subscribe to our channel, for more unknown fact videos. Ozone layer, was discovered by, Charles Fabry and Henri Buisson, French physicists, in 1913. Ozone depletion is caused by the release of chlorofluorocarbons and other ozone-depleting substances, such as refrigerants and aerosols. Fossil fuels cause huge amounts of damage to our ozone layer, which is depleting very quickly. Ozone layer depletion is the main reason for global warming, which leads to melting of polar ice, rising sea levels, and climate change. Exposure to higher amounts of ultraviolet radiation can cause skin cancer, eye diseases, and weaken the immune system of humans. Ozone hole over Antarctica extended over 29 million square kilometers, more than Russia and Canada combined. A hole in the ozone is not an actual hole, but it refers to a loss of 60% of the ozone. If people not stop using ozone-destroying substances, then the large part of Earth would be virtually uninhabitable by 2065.
Montreal Protocol, was signed by several countries in 1987, promising to limit the use of chlorofluorocarbons and other ozone depleting substances. If all countries meet the terms of the Montreal Protocol, scientists believe that ozone layer will heal by around 2050. Every year, on 16th September, World Ozone Day is celebrated to spread awareness of the depletion of the ozone layer and search for solutions to preserve it. Thanks for watching. Don't miss to subscribe to our channel for more unknown facts videos.